Hi everyone, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva. So Canva is a tool that you use for uh, when you want to create graphics or images that you want to use for your blog or for your social networking sites. So what you do, it's very simple. Uh, obviously, for if you're a new user, you won't see all of these things in your in your dashboard. But all you need to do is to click on uh, create a design. So it will show you, by clicking on create a design, it will show you the different sizes or the different kinds of materials that you can actually create. So we have uh, social media posts, be it if you're creating posts for Twitter or Pinterest or Facebook or Facebook app or Tumblr or Instagram. They have uh, preset sizes already for you. Then. Uh, if you're looking at creating documents like presentations, uh, A4 documents, US letter documents, letterheads, certificates, resumes, yearbook, they also have uh, preset items for you. If you're into blogging or creating ebooks, they have book covers, wallpapers, covers, banners, photo collages, blog banners, CD covers, and infographics. For marketing materials, if you need business cards, flyers, uh, menu boards, posters, brochures, they have um, templates that you can use, social media and email headers, events, ads, and so much more. They have a lot of designs or uh, pre-template uh, pre, uh, or already templated designs that you can use. So what you do is, let's see, let's try to create... Say, let's try to create a Facebook post here. So just click on the image or the template, then it will show you the, these images on the side, on the left side of your screen. And then what you can do is go through them, browse through them. Um, some images are free as indicated here. And others may need to, or you may need to buy these things. Uh, let me show you one that costs a dollar or so. So most of them are free. They have a lot of free designs that you can choose. So for example, this one, this costs you a dollar to, to purchase. So there. So let's see. Um, let's say I'm creating a blog post and I want to use this template so I just click on that I'll use it for announcing one of my or sharing one of my blog posts I've been writing it down so 10 things to start this year so let's see so let's change it 10 things to start this year so you can change the fonts. The way you change the fonts is that you highlight the letters or the characters that you want to change, uh, that that you want to adjust. And these are the fonts here on this corner. The font size is this. The color is this. You can change the colors. You can also change the colors to preset hex codes that you know. So these are hex codes. You can bolden it up or you can italicize it as well. But I think this is turned off for this particular um, for this particular font. So we can write check out my blog post. There. So you can even adjust this so that it widens up a bit. So I think I pulled it up there. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you ready? 
to do this. So there, so that's a sample. So what we can do is rename it to 10 things to start this year. And then you're done. And then you can actually download it. So you can download it as JPEG, PNG, PDF standard, or PDF for printing. So let's try JPEG. So it's rendering the final image. And then I can save it on my desktop. So there, so it's as easy as creating your own image uh, with the images that are already here in Canva. Isn't it great? <laughs> so for more tips, always visit Ginger Arboleda vlog here on YouTube.